Hi, I'm Claire Thompson. I lead global trade here at MasterCard for our enterprise partnerships function. Oh, there are many, but I think what's really coming through loud and clear is sustainability, right? It's such a pervasive force in terms of how you're managing your supply chains, transforming your business models, and of course, financial inclusion. So I'm really looking forward to Shamina Singh, our president of our Center for Inclusive Growth, who's going to be talking about that uh, here tomorrow at, at Cybos. Embedded financial services is the future of how businesses are going to both consume and deliver financial services. You'll see that through marketplaces. You'll see that through extending out into applications that, the that a business is using today to run its company, whether it's their ERP, their procurement network. So it's bringing all those financial services into a place where I'm already managing my business. So it's really, really efficient for those, for those users and those companies. And it is the destination point. It will be the most disruptive force for good in international commerce going forward. So if you think about it in terms of who's in the ecosystem, right? So think about it in the context of banks. So banks now will have a new way of being able to deliver financial services into a very efficient way of one-to-many, accessing many corporates in one place, enabled by technology. If you think about it from fintechs and big techs, who are now extending their service range to include financial services, they're offering additional value, which means new revenue pools for those companies. For large enterprises, it's really a way of offering a differentiated service. So in, as well as offering their core product, they can offer services around payments for those products, but also critically getting access to financing both for consumers and for, for companies. So a real draw to, to those companies' offerings. And for small businesses, if you think about in terms of e-commerce sites and, and those type of platforms where a small business can go and basically run their business, you know, doing their tax services, their fraud services, their capital services, their payment services, hugely efficient way for a small company to run its business. And because of the way it's delivered, it also means they can get access to capital in a more readily available and economic way. So it basically has something for everybody. MasterCard is the enabler of this ecosystem. If you think about it in terms of MasterCard works across banks, across big tech, merchants, fintechs, and truly is an enabler both in terms of creating the ecosystem and then bringing relevant solutions. So we're really excited if you think about open banking and how this can be a real enabler in an embedded finance infrastructure. So, so huge, huge role to play, but most importantly, working with our existing partners and customers today. So I think if you think about uh, clearly what is a, a big enabler in a platform economy is cloud-based infrastructure, right? API technology. So, so that to me is kind of really the platform to bring this whole embedded financial services ecosystem and technology to the forefront. Um, if you then think about open banking, right, and how you are now efficiently able to get at information in a secure, authenticated way. So you're, you're, you're getting access, shall we say, to the oil that's sitting, sitting there to fuel all of this. Um, if I think a little bit more kind of beyond that, what excites me is things like quantum computing, right? So we had the, the PC and, and the internet, that was the information age, right? But now if you think of the pure computing power with quantum computing, you apply that to AI technology, we are gonna see, we are gonna see the next generation of information access to services like we've never seen before. So if you think about Cybos, international trade, global trade, facilitating global commerce, a lot of what we're showcasing today is about enabling cross-border services. So we have our cross-border services, payment rails, facilitating, underpinning all of that, as well as our open banking capabilities, and some new features and functionalities which we have now in our global treasury intelligence solution, which allow you to manage kind of how you want to make payments, how you want to manage your supply chain, and really, are you managing that in a sustainable way from an ESG perspective?